So the first thing I'm going to show you, so I've already gone ahead and added a fill line, which is 44 liters that this container is going to hold. So I've just marked the fill line right inside the container by just taking a 4 liter jug and pouring the water in and in and in until it filled to where I want it to be. So basically what that's going to do is just give us a spot that when we come back and add the water and the nutrients, we don't have to measure it every single time. We just know that this is 44 liters. Okay. What we're going to do now is just place the pots that we're going to use for growing onto the container lid so we can get an idea of where we're going to want to cut holes for the pots. I have these uh, three inch neti pots that I got off eBay. Um, they were about uh, three, four bucks basically for, uh, for 12 pots. So what we can do is just space them out onto the tote. and get a really good sense of where we're going to want to make the holes. So I want them to be you know, somewhat spaced out so that the plants do have some room in between them to grow. And then, so this looks pretty good right now. They don't have to be measured out or perfect, um, but I do want to make a line and just sort of trace out each one of these. Just like that. So this is going to be um, an eight pot system. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight traced out holes on the tote. And now we just got to drill the holes out. So now that we have the holes traced that we want to make, I just have a, a three inch hole saw on my drill. And we can just sort of center the drill middle of the holes and just okay and we're on our last one here and that's it so it's made a little bit of a mess and we're going to want to make sure that we get rid of all these uh, drill filings before we add our nutrient and water but now you can see that we have a base and it'll fit every single one of our neti pots. Like so. So now inside of this we're going to have the nutrient water and we're going to fill to the, the 45 liter line. So the nutrient water is going to sit in here but we also want to make that oxygen rich. So what we need to do is put a few um, fish tank bubblers. So just kind of like these guys here. Uh, got these at Walmart as well. They were two bucks each. Um, I have two. I'm not sure if this system is going to need two, but for sure one. So this is going to sit inside the pail, but we're going to need a little hose coming to the outside of the pail. So we want to make sure we make a drill hole for that. So let's get some hose. Okay, so I have this uh, old fish tank um, air compressor and I've hooked up a, a length of hose to it as well. The hose is going to go inside of the bubbler tank and um, with the stone attached to it and this piece here will just end up sitting on the outside of the tank. So what I want to do is drill a hole in the top of the system where the neti pots are. So we can feed the hose in through the top as well. Um, this is a quarter inch bit. So 
we don't need the hole saw anymore and we'll just throw the quarter inch bit on there. And then we'll just find a good place to, to put it. I'd like to kind of keep it off to the side. So I'm going to go ahead and go right there. And we'll make sure the, the line fits through the hole. And sometimes, because this has already been on a bubbler before, um, you can see that the, uh, the hose sometimes expands, so you just have to push it through to get it started. But once it's through, then we're in pretty good shape. Okay, so we can just put that through to the bottom. And you can see that it's just coming through this edge there. So, let's put that off to the side for a minute. And we'll get one of our bubbler stones out of its package. And you take the end of the, the hose and place it onto a bubbler stone and that's going to sit inside and create a lot of oxygen in there for the plants. Put that back on the top. So this is basically the system. We'll just plug in the compressor that will send air through the hose to our bubbler stone at the bottom. The bubbler stone in the bottom will enrich oxygen into the nutrient solution and once we get some plants in here the solution underneath will have enough oxygen in it so that the roots of the plants won't rot. Okay, So basically this is the system. You're done. All you have to do is plug in your compressor. It'll bubble up and allow the oxygen to go through the nutrient solution inside. And you'll put the plants in the net pots at the top with the, the substrate. And you're ready to pretty much go. So.